Fifth Born is the story of a child named Odessa Blackburn. She tells the story first person from the age of three to 13, which is unusual for a novel. Uh, it is not a children's book uh, in any manner. Uh, in the story, um, there is a murder, rape, uh, birth, death, and she uh, discovers for herself, in her need to survive, she discovers for herself um, her true uh, heritage and therefore she uh, uncovers and unlocks a lot of secrets uh, for her family. Uh, not that they are wanting that, but that's what occurs. So it's a very, um, very dr emotionally uh, dramatic um, story that a lot of people read from beginning to end without putting down um, because of the, the pace of the dramatic tension in the story. Cole Ronan Creek uh, is a story of uh, two women in particular, uh, Raven, who is Chata and Lily, who is Chata and Black. Uh, it's a story from the 1800s, uh, told in Mississippi, and um, it tracks from the relocation, these two women's stories, uh, straight through to Reconstruction, and everything that lies between for those families, um, everything from, uh, from the irony of, uh, of Native American slave ownership um, to uh, war and all of the redemption that comes uh, in the story after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the story that I'm working on now, um, Fifth Born Two, The Hundredth Turtle, that's the story of two siblings who reconnect uh, as young adults and they are uh, the black sheep of a much larger family. Um, what they have uh, biologically in common is the same abusive father. Um, but they um, find their way to reconnecting to each other despite uh, the lies and the myths of their childhood uh, that have kept them apart. And in this story, um, through birth and death, uh, two things that I love to explore um, because of how close they stand together, through birth and death, they um, both discover um, unconditional love and what you can learn, particularly through death. Thank you.